Let's work together to find the equation of the right bisector of a line segment AB. We're given the coordinates of A and B, and I've plotted them here already. The right bisector will go through the midpoint of those two. And if you find the slope of AB, it will be 90 degrees to that slope. All right? Your job is to find the slope between A and B, take its negative reciprocal, find the midpoint of A and B, and then use y equals mx plus b to solve for b. Here's what I mean. Step one, find the slope of AB. The slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's 10 minus negative 6 over 4 minus 10. What do I get here? I get 16 over negative 6. That reduces to negative 8 over 3. That's the slope from A to B. That makes sense because it is going down, right? What that means is that the slope of the right bisector is, flip the fraction 3 eighths, flip the sine negative to positive, the slope of the right bisector is positive 3 eighths. We, did, we know that it is at a right angle to AB because it is a negative reciprocal. Cool? Step three is to find the midpoint of AB. This is a capital M for midpoint. The formula for that is the average of the x values, 4 and 10, and the average of the y values, 10 and negative 6. When you take the average, you add them and divide by 2. 14 over 2, 4 over 2, 7, 2. It, does 7, 2 look like the midpoint of A, B here? 7, 2, yeah, you know what? I believe that that's the midpoint of this line segment there. That makes perfect sense. Now, with that x and y from the midpoint and the new slope that you found via negative reciprocal, we want you to use y equals mx plus b to solve for little b. y is 2, the slope is 3 eighths, and the x is 7. Your job is to solve for b here. It's not too bad. 2 equals, this gives me 21 eighths when I multiply it. When I subtract that on the other side, I believe I get negative 5 eighths, and so that is the b value here. y equals slope, 3 eighths, x, plus b, which is negative 5 eighths, so it's minus 5 eighths. There you go. It was pretty fast. We did that in about three minutes. Your job to find a right bisector is to find the slope between the two points you're given and take its negative reciprocal. That takes care of the right portion. Find the midpoint. That takes care of the bisector portion. And using y equals mx plus b with that point and your new slope to solve for the new y-intercept, uh, like y equals mx plus b form of the equation there, is how you get the equation itself. It's all here in the question. No surprises, ain't no fictions. Best of luck to you.